Express elevator going up. You have reached the top level. Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo. Welcome back to another episode of Breath of the Wild. Last time, we completed everything we could in Divine Beast Bomb Meadow. Now, since the last episode, I went off and cooked a bunch of food because we're probably going to need it. And I screwed up one. Dubious food. It's too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues forth from the heap. Eating it, eating it won't hurt you though. Probably. <laughs> I love that. All right. So I think before we do anything though, we're going to eat this concoction. And we're going to put on an outfit that gives us better, better health. All right, so we're going to put that on. Kind of wish I made something with peppers a little bit so we could, so we would take less damage, but nothing we can really do about that. All right. I repeat again, just before before we fight this boss, if you've not if you have not gotten all the treasure chests in here and you want to, now's your chance. Alright, let's go. thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. It defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but you must avenge me, Link! Alright, Windblight Ganon. It will teleport around, trying to shoot its... trying to fire its laser at us. But if you can manage to get to one of these updrafts and shoot it in the face in the eyeball it's actually pretty easy to deal with assuming you don't run out of stamina oh man how do we not get hurt there Boink. ah it's teleporting Where are you going this time, dude? Let's use our bomb arrows, though. Just because they provide a little bit more kick to them. There we go. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty darn good. Ah, it's stopping tornado! No! It's summoning a tornado. No, no tornado for you. Ah! Where are you going this time, dude? I'm surprised we haven't been hit yet. In my last uh, take on this episode, he definitely tried to hurt me pretty bad. Now he's got those little things that work like lasers. And 
Kaplori. We're doing pretty darn good. We're doing pretty darn good. Ah! Ah! No! 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 We're fine. We're fine. We're doing fine. We're fine. It was a, it was a cross counter apparently. Cross counter. It's like cross fighter. Cross fighter. Let's end this with a sword. Ha <laughs> At a heart container. Our life force has been strengthened, increasing our maximum hearts by one. Once you activate the main control unit, you will be unable to re-enter the interior of this divine beast. Do you still wish to activate it? Be plucked. You defeated him, eh? Who would have thought? Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale! It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Feel free to thank me now. Or, never mind, just go. Your job is far from finished, you know. The princess has been waiting an awful long time.
set. You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. <sighs> After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. Guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. I hope that luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. We got Rabali's Gale, a blusterous power born from the spirit of the champion Rabali, creates an updraft, upward draft that carries you into the sky. Activate by holding the X button. This is freaking cool. And I love how that cutscene looked at the at like sunset. It looks so freaking good. But now, now that we have done that with Ravali, we are free to do a bunch of side quests. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Oh, you pain in the ass. You had a side quest for us. Give me the side quest. So tired. Give me the side quest right now. Um, let's meet up with the Elder. You have done it, and you survived at that. You conquered Divine Beast Bob Meadow. To think the beast has taken up roost on top of the village. It looks simply divine. <laughs> if the legends are true, the light from the Divine Beast will ravage the Calamity. For now, Divine Beast Balmetto will become the protector of this village and live on in legend alongside you. Oh! <laughs> oh, yes, of course. I must reward you properly. Feel free to take what you find in the treasure chest. You will get more use out of it than I. What you did is miraculous, though I should have expected none less than the... No, nothing less from one of the bloodline of a champion. Why, you were almost equal to the very Hylian champion who fought the Master Ravali 100 years ago. All you lack is the sword that seals the darkness. If you had the sword that seals the darkness in your possession, you would be the spitting image. Hmm, I wonder what this sword is that seals the darkness. In any case, let's get our reward. The Great Eagle Bow! A bow without equal, wielded by the Rito champion Ravali. It said Ravali could loose arrows at the speed of a gale, making him supreme in aerial combat. And our inventory is full. Boo! Ruining the moment. <laughs> All right, um... Uh, we have Falcon Bow. I think we'll get rid of our Soldier's Bow, because we don't need that. The Soldier's Bow is a pretty common thing. But we're not going to use our Great Falcon Bow, because, you know, it's kind of a rare commodity. But, yes. And in all honesty, we can always get any swallow bows we want just by taking it from this guy. <laughs> and taking them from the flight range. So, I guess, let's go find a 
fireplace so we can turn it to daytime so we can actually do some side quests. There's one. The blood moon rises once again. I guess we can do... I guess we'll access a couple of side quests. I don't know if we're gonna finish them today. You want me to tell you a story? I love stories. Awesome! Me too! Ahem. Once upon a time... My grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a mountain and looked at and looked below him to the northeast. When suddenly he saw a huge snow white birdie when it, why, with its wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the snow white birdie and he got a little closer to the snow white birdie. Grandpa saw something super duper important inside of its belly. The birdie had swallowed? Well, what was it? I always get sleepy around that part of the story, so I don't remember. Oh, I know where the big tree is, though. It's over there. You see it? Grandpa said he saw the Snow White birdie from that tree. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now, where did the Snow White birdie swallow? What did the Snow White Birdie swallow? I can't hear the story from Grandpa anymore. Well, I think we already know what it is, but let's put a... a little marker there so we know to head there in the next episode. Alright. Uh, there's another... there's another side quest over here that we might as well grab. Where did you go? I... Keel! Where are you? I can't find Keel anywhere. Where could she be? Maybe she keeled over. <laughs> Maybe she went to Wellbler's Nest to practice her singing. But that's so far away. Could she even make it there on her own? Oh, I'm so worried. Well, I have the power of telescopic vision, and I can tell you that I can't see her. I thought for sure we'd be able to see her if she was there. Oh, well. Maybe she is there, and it's just like the rendering isn't putting her there or something. I don't know. But now that we got those two side quests, we are going to do those two side quests in the next episode, all right? See you guys then.